No, 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 you control Blender her with curve guides in particle edit mode. Well, yeah, it's a bit fiddly, yeah, but it gets the job done. Go on then, show me. Hello boys and girls, my name is Daddy Mark, and do you remember a few weeks ago when I was like, strap yourselves in guys, the 60 second tutorials are back. And then... I am sorry, I've had a client job that's been hogging up most of my time, but after this one, I'm going to stop them indefinitely. So if you're thinking about buying something from my gumrod... Also, you might have noticed that the 60 second tutorial title has changed ever so slightly to the two minute tutorial. <laughs> there were three reasons for this. Number one, you can fit so much more into two minutes than you can one. Some might even estimate this at double. Two, two minutes is still a small portion of time, so I'm sure I won't get that many complaints, although I'm sure I'll get some. Three, it just rolls off the tongue a bit better. 60 second tutorial, two minute tutorial. Mm way more satisfying. Now, just a small disclaimer, I shall not be held responsible for blowing anybody's mind during this tutorial. If anyone should be held responsible, it should be Timid Clover, from whom I was introduced to this technique in her video. I've just refined it a little bit for Blender 2.8. So be sure to send any love and lawsuits her way. Let's put 60 seconds on the clock, and let's put another 60 seconds on the clock. Strap yourselves in, guys. No. No way, I, I already did that one and it was cheesy the first time. Here's the tutorial. So you've got your head and you've got your scalp. Pause. If you don't know how to get to this point, just about every Blender tutorial out there will show you how to do this. Resume. Let's create a hair system on the scalp and then increase the strand steps a touch. Let's invite the interpolated children to this party too. Now we'll add a bezier curve and shape it into a ponytail. Now in the physics tab, Click force field and change the type to curve guide. Now I've written on my script to do something dramatic at this point, so <gasps> feel free to use your normal curve tools like Alt-S for scaling, or you know, Control-T for twisting. Think of the fun you can have with this. Now if your strand steps are turned up, but the hair still looks kinky, Giggity. just turn up the resolution on the curve as well to fix it. Now it's unlikely we want to control hairs growing from the entire scalp with a single curve, so let's map out where the hairs should grow from. Create a new vertex group, and I'll call this ponytail. Now what I'll do is jump into weight paint mode, and essentially wherever I paint is where the hairs are going to grow from. So I'll hide the particles so I can see what I'm doing, and just paint. Easy peasy. Now if I bring the hairs back, nothing's actually changed yet, because I need to come down to vertex groups, and next to density, I want to select my new vertex group, and voila! Now, before we get all excited, if I was to create pigtails instead of a ponytail, meaning we need two curves, we're going to run into a problem, whereby the hairs don't know which curve to follow. That's because, for this to work, each curve needs three things of its own. It needs its own particle system, it needs its own weight painting, and each curve needs to have its own parent collection. Now, given this fact, this isn't really the best solution for a full head of hair, but for big shapes like a ponytail or pigtails, this is perfect. Once you have these three things set up, you want to come into each particle system and set the density appropriately as we did before. But this time we also want to open up field weights and set the effector collection appropriately too. Now go and have some fun with this. This is almost certainly going to change the way I approach her in Blender and I love it. Now, you think I'm going to ask you to shove a thumb up, leave a filthy, filthy comment, and to tickle the subscribe button. And yes, please do all those things, but also please go and check out my Gumroad store. There's a bunch of tutorials and other goodies on there you won't find on the channel, and it really is keeping the channel alive. At least until Wacom starts sponsoring these videos, but I think I might have a long wait for that. Have a good weekend, guys. Peace.